Hello YouTube, you guys are looking awesome today. My name is Nick and today I am back with another Clash of Clans war recap for you guys and this one was our 239th war win, war loss sorry and we totally lost by 1 star and 1% excellent war guys the Chinese totally wrecked our bases and still they hadn't had good attacks but we were messed up totally our town hall lines weren't able to clear out most of their bases and we left most of the bases around 90% uh, not a very good at war totally but there were lot of things to learn from these attacks so let's move on with some of the attacks and watch some of the raids first we are gonna watch SS Chaudhary taking out their number 13 and he has a goho army composition loaded with golems, wall, uh, hogs and wizards so first drops out a hog to take out the CC then brings it down the right side of the base using an archer and drop two poison spell on them to take out the balloon and the dragon as quickly as possible and commence with the further raids he is wasting a lot of wizards at this point but at last finally the cc is out of the way and now he is ready for the hawk part first he drops his golems two golems one he drops into the space which was empty and top side of the base there is another golem that was not actually a very good plan and he clumped up his, his wizards on the right side of the base and all of them were killed up by the splash damage of the motor this was not a very good plan actually but the hog part really saved him the raid excellent hog work used the hog surgically and excellent deployment of heal spells totally wrecked this base only through hogs he almost wasted two of his golems the only objective with which he accomplished by using his golem was taking out the enemy king nothing more else so at this point guys he has so many hogs still left the skeleton traps is just triggered but that's not a big deal this base is totally wrecked he still has a heal spell which he will drop as soon now and the skeleton types are right now gone there is no skeletons he had seven wizards still for cleanup and he will deploy all of them in a circular fashion and the last giant bomb is triggered the one wizard there is been killed excellent attack by SS Chaudhary could have made the golem part a bit better but no complaints guys it is a 3 star and 3 star counts, 8 star counts. Next we are gonna watch Kuldeep taking out their number 11. Again a goip attack guys. Goip is a professional attack strategy that was used earlier but nowadays it has been lost somewhere. Only you can guys can see that Goa is making more use. So in this raid it drops two golem widely spread from each other. The CC is kind of splits off in two different groups but that's not a big deal. He has two poison spell ready and at this point a great wide funnel is created onto the base. He tries to protect his golem by dropping a heal spell. Excellent plan there. And now the Pekkas are directly into the core of the base standing to just tear apart everything which comes in their way. So the Pekkas will now target the wall into the core of the base and this is an excellent time to drop a rage spell which it does drop and the core will be demolished in second all the high HP defenses lining up into the core of the base excellent work there good plan the funneling was actually what I was trying to say you guys if you funnel the way works in these raids it's actually pretty good but town hall 8 guys there is already a so much scarcity of dark elixir that you guys can't afford to train 7 to 8 walls each and every time excellent way by Kuldeep but in this raid 8 these raids get more lengthy just because the Pekkas can't do much thing faster enough the Pekkas might must be given a buff because they are not much used at any town hall levels town hall 10s you forget about Pekkas Pekkas will never be seen on a town hall 10 raid I think so because every high level clan war i see i only see bowlers miners and these wall carries nothing more else so these pekkas are pretty much suffering suffering right now and i think they should be given some kind of buff in the update at least a small speed update which would improve their usage next we are gonna watch roughs taking out the only town online triple this star war 
and actually he starts off by dropping some hogs on the top side of the base and trying to lure off the CC but he kinda fails to lure out by a small HP left onto the cannon so he will just drop in two more hogs to take out the cannon and get out the CC lure. The thing I which wanna tell you guys is the way he kills the CC. You will know to about it in just a second. So after the CC is out he drops an archer onto the barrack to pull the uh, CC towards it and then he will drop a poison spell on the dragon and again drop an archer to bring it to its sides. Then he drops a baby dragon and the baby dragon will tank for everything. The dragon will shooting be shooting at the baby dragon and the baby dragon will take out the balloons and the wizards also are used to take out the balloons. I don't think that uh, the balloons were actually wizards were actually required. He could have used couple of archers but no big deal. He gets the work accomplished and now it's time to drop the golems along with his heroes and make a good funnel with his wizards. As soon as someone funnel is created, the king will use his ability, take out the queen and at this point he is ready for the hog deployment. He starts off by dropping hogs on all of them into the same group because on this base there are no double jam bomb spots. Once this king and queen approach towards the right side of the base, all the double jam bomb spots will be triggered except the one which is near the buff king and the air defenses. But that spot might not be reached by the hawks in any way because the hawks might not run directly from the tesla towards the motor there. So actually that was a very good plan there and now he has 2 heal spells still left and the hawks have taken about 50% of the base already. He just needs to heal his hawks when required. Excellent work there the king is chasing his hawks but he already has so many heal spells left. The expo is now down which was uh, some kind of threat for the golem and the queen but he uses his last spell on the top side of the base which was the only threat left into the base. Excellent attack erupts. Good work. And finally the last tesla will be down and the king will be down and at this point the double jam bomb gets triggered kill up process but he still has two wizards out the outer edge of the base if he didn't have his two wizards then he might lose the raid now we will watch one of the anime raids to give some respect to the enemies for their attacks and i really would like to show you guys this raid on our number four shivam and he has a queen walk attack style with some Valkyries, hogs and healers behind the queen. So starting off he drops his queen to make a good funnel onto this side of the base and the main objective I think was to take out the CC using this queen and healer composition. Earlier it was more uh, easy to take out the CC and then comings with the rest of the red but now it's a bit tough because if the air mines or air bomb trigger on this side of the base then it's really tough. So he drops a hog to take out the CC. The CC comprises of low HP troops like the baby dragon Volcari. So there is no big deal he does drops a poison spell and uses his queen's ability to take all of them out. Excellent work good plan there. But on this raid actually his queen moves the opposite direction but the way his king golems and the Volcari tear apart the center core of the base. You will just know about it in a second. I got a WhatsApp message, so I'm really sorry for it, guys. But he drops his golems and some his queen, king, sorry, king. I would rather give him a male respect. So he drops his king and all Volcaris. And at this point, a good funnel is created for his Volcaris. The queen will aggro the Volcaris and king towards the core. And look at the destruction the walls are doing, totally tearing apart the base. And there is the, now the time that the hogs will come from the outer edge of the base surgically. Excellent plan there. I can't say anything much about this raid. But he kinda get unlucky in this raid. I don't know why but all of his walls started dying due to the double jam bomb locations. The base is actually this way that it kills your troops at the end of the raid and the start of the raid could, gets good commention. So at this point most of the defenses in the base are still shooting at those walls. The hogs are down but the queen healer are doing great work standing on the core side of the base and she will now be tanking for most of the defenses and the balls will try and take out the rest of the base as quickly as possible. And at this point the balls are doing great damage I would say that they are not unstoppable and the large cannon is only a threat left along with the expo but the expo is been shooting at the queen for ages. 
she is not been taken out she has three to four healers still left and the healers were very much saved in this raid because she is already moving on the outer edge of the base she didn't reach the, the core of the base where the most of the traps in the base are so this was a lucky raid at the end but he started off very well and look guys the air mines are now getting to the healers should have been they gone earlier so okay guys if you like this episode please hit the like button for me and let me make go more better videos like this thank you